Hello there, blue and people of the internet. My name is Jake Dragon Seven, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Today, we're gonna be doing some things. Um, first up today, we have the um, our first Cosmic Comet, which is in Honey Hive Galaxy. So, like I said in the previous episode, Cosmic Comet is where you race a um sort of shadowy clone of yourself. Um, these are all race, so you have to like um. Basically, the, um, they're sort of like speedy comets, but well, the, the thing is, they're not like speedy comets in the sense that these missions do change quite a bit more because things like enemies are all gone. This basically allows you to just straight up race through the whole galaxy. Now, there is a trick you can do here to get a speed boost, and I think it is supposed to work very much like Mario Kart, but I don't know. I'll see if I can do it right. If you. Oh, alright, well, I screwed up. Um,. I'll have to look it up before the next Cosmic Comet race. Oh my god, he's gonna beat me, isn't he? At this, this point, he might actually beat me. Okay, well now he's just being a dumbass, so probably not. Oh yeah, I think I'm good at this point. But I did screw up quite a few times, so if this was like, one of the later ones, I definitely would be dead right now. Yeah, because if you actually lose the race, you just straight up die. <laughs> of course. That's bad. Alright. Just remember, long jump and the spin. Um, <laughs> best combo. 10 out of 10 IGN. Alright, GG. GG, Shadow, Shadow Mario. See you next time. I wish <laughs> I really wish you guys could see how I got to um, use my pointer because it is not fun using the pointer for this game like right now actually this is being recorded before I'm test I'm gonna be testing out um must play sky with Tori later so I'm recording I'm recording Mario Galaxy quite a bit in advance um that game might be very difficult to play I don't think no wait I think I had this set up when I think this might work, but I feel like it's going to be a big pain in the ass for me to play Mario, um, not Mario, yeah, Sky Tour. We'll have to see, I mean, that game doesn't really use a pointer, but it does use so much amazing control. Anyway, Bowser Star Reactor. Um, what are we doing Nap first? Um... Okay, um, let's see what's up here real quick. Pfft, I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, that's cool. Um, anyway. Um, I think I'm actually a one-up on the edge of this. I believe there's a one-up on the edge of this thing if you can get up there. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe, um, maybe in, hmm, maybe in the other airship level in this game, or that might be in a level in Galaxy 2. I, I like this song a lot. Uh, if you can, if you can understand this. This is one of my favorite childhood songs. Um, here we have 
or just in the fighting magic Koopas in game, not just in the cutscene. You know, they're not they're not really all that difficult. They're definitely not like they were in um oh my god, Mario World Magic Koopas were freaking not fun. <laughs> because they only appeared in like a few castles, like later in the game. Not, some of them were even later. I think they but um, whenever you did have to like fight them, like a not even really fight them, just deal with them. They were so like, I remember them respawning. I don't know if they did that or not. But I remember in Mario World they would respawn, and I would like I would get so mad. I'm assuming red shells come in on them, right? I don't know, I look like a perfect straight shot there, so... Alright, let me see here. Ooh, I like okay, that might be pretty good. The boss you have coming up... It can be a little bit tricky. I don't think... Because you fight her twice. Um... Oh, God damn it. But, um... I remember her, she can be kind of tricky, so... Right, anyway... Me can't be Cam me Camilla. <laughs> no, but seriously, she looks so much like Cammy Keep, but it, it's I don't know why they didn't just name her Cammy. Uh, that would have been such a cool Paper Mario cameo too. Oh seriously, she just looks like a larger version of Cammy. And even still the Paper Mario characters have like more I guess, like chibi type of designs anyway. Yeah, nothing about this is what a 3D Cammy would look like and her name is Camilla. I don't know, it makes like no sense. I guess she has a lipstick, and Kami Kuba didn't have a lipstick. Even still, like, characters get redesigned every time. It's, it's not that big of a deal, really. And like I said, Paper Mario fans would have been, like, super happy to see this. <laughs> oh, yeah, this part of the fight can actually be a little bit tricky just because, um. You kind of have, like, Magic Cuba bombarding you with fire from, like, everywhere. Just spinning into the fi um, holy crap, in the shell or like whatever the magic for the shell is does make it so you automatically grab it. And if you hit the top of the shell, you grab it. So it's not too hard to grab the shell, but you know you can kind of get bombarded with fire if you're not too careful. You can't, you know. Anyway, though, that's you know, not too bad. Uh. Hmm, excuse me, I'm <laughs> yawning for some reason. Yeah. Alright game, stop with the ominous music now, I wanna go to the fucking boss level. There you go. Um. Like I said on Megalix Moon, on the even number on um, Bowser's new stages, you fight Bowser himself. So we actually get to have a boss fight with Bowser here. Um, I will be talking about those when we get to that fight, but for now, those of you who play Mario 64, prepare for nostalgic overload. song so much. Uh, I always found Mario 64 to be super clunky, but um, I really, I like the music and level design in that game a lot. The other thing too is like, I wasn't like I didn't play Mario 64 in the same way a lot like a lot of people remember it. So a lot of people remember playing it, you know, like when like when it first came out, and they'd only play like Mario World. It was like one of their first video games of all time. So to me, because I think I had played Mario, I'm I'm pretty sure I played Mario Galaxy 2 and probably even this game before then. 
So Super Mario 64 wasn't all that impressive to me in terms of its, I guess, 3D-ness, like it was to the people when it came out. But um, it was still a really, it was, you know, pretty enjoyable game. Like I said, it always felt a little bit clunky, but that's really, when it comes to me, like I find pretty much all N64 games super clunky. These are the only games I really don't find clunky. Clunky? I like the Zelda games. Which are, the Zelda N64 games are my favorite games of all time, especially Majora's Mask. That is... <laughs> you know, I love that game so much. But, um... This is actually right about the end of the- oh, god. I almost tied it. <laughs> yeah, this is like right around the end of the level. I don't know if that's, well, wait, space bits? What are space bits? I don't think that's a thing in this game. Star bits are a thing, but I'm pretty sure star bits are in a glass, so that wouldn't exactly work out. Oh, Actually, I think it's, Jesus Christ. I think it is possible to grab a, um, wait, Jesus, what the fuck is wrong with me right now? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure it's possible to grab a life stream here, though. I'll have to look a little closely, a little more, a little more closely, I should say. Oh my god, I ran right past it. Basically, the way you want to fight Bowser is you want to um, make it so that he, well, basically when he stomps like that, he'll hoom in on you. You want to make sure he hits one of the glass pieces because there's lava under there. And he's got to spin into him once, spin into him twice, and do the Kamen Mario thing, repeating things three times, and you win. These fights are pretty cool, although, you know, the issue I have with this game, and Mario Galaxy 2 as well, it doesn't actually change Mario, I mean, the fights themselves change. But the whole issue I have with them doesn't really change that much, at least. Um, I feel like it actually does get a little better in 2, believe it or not, but um, I'll get into that, I'll get into why. Probably when I play that game, it'll, it'll happen someday, believe me. But um, the problem is that these fights stay almost identical the whole game. And like, in Mario 1, I can totally understand that. It was it was like an early NES game. I mean, what do you really expect? And it was like one of the first games of its type. Basically, that like wasn't you know wasn't an arcade game. So, what do you really expect? And even still, you know, the boss fights had you know their sharp differences. And like I said too, it's a NES. What, what do you expect? That's when each world had f only four levels, and now they have like eight, eight or something like that. You know, just more than four. But um, this is the this is Super Mario Galaxy, on the Wii. I feel like Nintendo could have been just a little more creative with these fights. I mean, yeah, you got things like this where you have to hit them, you have to spin them three times. Of I mean, but like, does that really change the fight that much? Not really. I and mean, I feel like I will probably talk about it more later on. I just, I kind of keep spoiling things, but like I said, a lot of people have played this game, so I guess if I inadvertently spoil everything. Most people aren't going to care because they've already played the game probably, you know, a few times at least. Um, but yeah, that, that's something that really bothers me about this game. And again, it's not like it's different in Mario Galaxy 2. And the worst part is too, Bowser Jr.'s fights don't stay copy and pasted. They are all completely unique from each other. Now, Bowser Jr. is slightly unique in the fact that you don't really fight him directly. Especially in the first game, you only fight him directly once. And Mario Galaxy, you fight him directly twice. 
because you don't always really fight Bowser Jr. yourself, but each of the fights on his stages are all different from one another. I mean, they all have differences. They're all actually really fun fights. Mega Leg, I mean, you, you can't go wrong with Mega Leg, you know? Um, I feel like in this game, the fifth Bowser Jr. fight wasn't too great, and the and Mario Galaxy said the first one isn't too great. Other than that, they're all, you know, pretty good. Well, I mean, like the fifth level is what I meant. Like the fifth, I guess the third badge in your fight, technically. Oh, and we have a new comment. Thanks for comment. Star powers. Once our star powers are stored, you have to be able to go there. And you can reunite with the special one. And we're already here. This is the beginning of the game. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say with the amount of dunes you can see here. And the fact that only like a little more than half of that is covered up. Oh yeah, so just so you know, there's a toad, he delivers mail. You can get basically you can get five one ups every time you reboot the game. And these notes just make no sense. I'll just let you read it for yourself. Well, well how does this work? Just, just give them to me. And how the hell? How the hell does that work? Bowser, up your security. Up your boss fights, too. I mean, come on. Alright, uh, so, um. Doesn't look like we unlocked the Huggy Luma here yet. Either way, even if we had, there's no way we have enough star bits. I think it. My guess is that it probably takes at least 600, which we don't even really have enough for that. So before we end off this episode, we're going to do that um speed comment we saw. I also think we will um take a little look at what this galaxy here. Oh. Pointer. Ooh. We're gonna do this first. If I remember, we'll do Hurry Scurry in the next episode. Although, we'll probably start the kitchen off first. And we'll, we'll have to see what happens, because comets can definitely change the way you play through the game quite a bit. I'm not too sure about this, but I have a feeling that they do. Like, I think the first couple, like the first two, maybe three, are set. But once the game, you can really start getting, you know, I guess, weird with the orders you played the game in. Um, what I say? yeah, I guess I'm pretty sure the comments become randomized. I could be wrong here, but um, yeah, I think they do. You can correct me in the comments on you can correct me in the comments on that one. I'm just used to saying comments is like one pronounced letter off comments. I think that when you spell it, it's two letters off, but you don't really pronounce the second M and. Comment. I don't know why, why I just tried doing that. I right, just grab the just grab the stuff. Don't actually break gravity this time, Mario, please. All right. Um, I think I'm figuring this out. Oh, right. poster is going in front of it. Oh, what oh, poster idea? All right. So um. Yeah, I guess there's not too much to talk about. I just kind of, you know, racing through this level again. We don't really get the beautiful music anymore, which is lame. Um. Mm. Yeah, that's really all I can say. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is so cool, guys. Okay, save myself there. Here, that see, like I said, I was so net in the last episode, but now I actually do get to see it actually happen. She did the crook of these pulled stars. Pointer, cooperate with me, pointer, please. This is an ur this is an urgent situation. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so just kind of be careful that you don't die here, because these com um, comet, prankster comets, don't really have checkpoints. So if you died here on the um, regular version of the mission, you would um, you would just. I'm pretty sure you just start at the beginning of this area. Um, but here you would have to redo the whole mission. That wouldn't really be fun. Um, also, keep in mind you have to, do, like I said in the um, Dino Prana one. Even if you beat Dino Prana, like even if you were to beat Dino Prana. You still have to collect a star in time, which isn't really a big deal there, but here, I, I got really scared there, but here it is actually a big deal because there is a little, you know, a little bit back checking you have to do. So in my case, I mean, the only way I'm really going to die at this point is actually by being stupid and falling off. But if you were too slow earlier on, like if you were having trouble with the post stars or something like, like really bad trouble like I was, like not worse trouble than I was having, I mean. Um, you could very well make it so that you actually got the star to appear, but then time just ran out, like, seconds before you grabbed it, which would definitely be, you know, a little painful. Um, that is, oh, just really two dooms, <laughs> oh, look, I'll have to go over that sometime later. Um, hmm. So then, everyone, um, if you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, um, if you enjoyed, you can subscribe, I guess, you can see more of this, and, um, yeah, next episode, we'll be checking out, um, we're doing a few more things in the fountain, um, maybe something that's hurrah, actually, no, maybe, maybe that's hurrah, so some secret stars up here, and we'll be checking out the kitchen for the first time, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. See you guys then. Hello everyone, and thank you for watching today's episode of Let's Play from Mario Galaxy. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to see my future content. This includes my other currently running Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Discovered Tour, which is updated on Sundays and Fridays. You can also check out my random Saturday series, where I just make random content on Saturdays. It's pretty simple. I also have a repeat Thursday series, it's basically a spin-off of random Saturdays, where I repeat concepts from previous random Saturdays, and make them into new videos, or even form series. If you want, you can also follow me on Twitter at JakeDragon7. Alright, I hope to see you again in the future. Bye.